Hey guys and girls, NZ Dirt Pirate here. Welcome to my channel. In this short video, I thought I'd share some tips with you on how to hunt beaches. I've marked up a few images showing the hot spots that I've found to be quite lucrative. From dry to wet sand hunting, cuts, drops or low spots, to active zones like lifeguard towers and volleyball courts. So let's take a look and see if I can help make your beach hunts better. In image one, you can see hard pack ripples at low tide. These act the same as ripples in a sluice box trapping the gold. Next to this, you can see the drops or low spots in tidal pools. Always hunt these spots. I've found gold and silver rings in ripples, drops and tidal pools, along with modern clad and other valuables. So find these areas and hunt them. In this next image you can see drops, the towel line and beach cuts. The towel line is usually just above the high tide mark. This is where people sit and enjoy the day at the beach. At the end of the day they lift and flick their towels losing their valuables. Cuts are where heavy or storm seas have dragged away the sand or eroded the banks, exposing long lost treasures. Always hunt these zones, especially after big seas. I hit these areas hard after every big storm. In image three, we have what's called long drift. This is where the sand is moving along the beach. In this case, the sand is moving right to left. As you can see, the sand is built up on the right hand side of the wall and very low on the left hand side. Hunt the low side as the drift may have moved enough sand making previously undetectable targets now detectable. Image 4 shows a close up of a cut along with a drop or low spot and tidal pull as shown in images 1 and 2. The top left corner above the orange line is a bank that has been hit by large seas. Between the two orange lines is the detecting zone. This area is where the sea has dragged treasures out of the bank or back shore and placed at a lower level. Always detect here and then further down into the tidal pools and drops. In these final two images they relate to dry sand detecting. Always hunt the towel line as shown in image 2. Check out around where sports are being played like beach volleyball. Other good spots are main routes to and from the beach, around play equipment and lifeguard towers. As always research is the key. Study the tides, the sand movement and what parts of the beach people gather at the most. Remember, the sand is always on the move. What may be too deep today may be detectable tomorrow. I hope this video helps improve your finds as it has mine. Thanks for watching. NZ Dirt Pirate.